Assalamu alaikum. My name is Wakar Ahmed and I am a Khadam from Jamaat Canada. I'm currently a student studying architecture and environmental design. So by the grace of Allah, I had the opportunity to go to Belize for Wakfi Arzi in the spring of 2015. I had just finished my, uh, my semester at the time and I was, uh, I think naturally at the time, students look and yearn for an opportunity to travel, maybe um, you know, go on a vacation. Uh, I found out this opportunity through a friend who was planning to go and it was a very impulsive uh, decision on my part to, to join him on this trip, but uh, one I was very grateful and fortunate to have been a part of. So with us, we? Yes, we are home, man. So in terms of the living arrangements um, at Belize, it was, they were very modest. Uh, it was very humble um, experience, you know, in terms of living in a very simple house. We were actually uh, housed within um, the masjid, which was a very small building. Uh, and we were just given a very small uh, room where we would be sleeping uh, and offering our namazes as well. The person who provided us our meals uh, was actually one of the first converts uh, in Belize. Uh, her, and her name was Sister Khadija, and uh, she would be providing us uh, lunch and dinner meals uh, prepared through our, uh, our local Jamaat kitchen. Um, and the food was uh, very simple food, and, but very fulfilling as well. Okay. <laughs> So in terms of the hardships we experienced, I think firstly was um, as someone who grew up primarily in Canada, adjusting to the climate and the weather there was uh, a bit difficult at first. Uh, obviously Belize is renowned to have a very hot climate. But apart from that, I think we realized going into a third world country, a lot of the privileges were afforded um, here uh, in, in the West especially, uh, that the people there are not. And we were very much immersed within uh, the experience of local people within Belize. Other than that, um, I think it was just, uh, it really opens your eyes to realizing that uh, how life is like for people in third world countries. We were living pretty much immersed in that experience of how the locals were living um, in, in the condition, you know, where our Jamaat was and uh, as well how Rabbi Saab was uh, situated there as well. So what helped me overcome the hardships uh, through this experience was uh, I think just having the, my friends uh, or the people around me uh, and knowing that we were going through that together. Um, but also really the support of uh, our Jamaat there, the people there, and also the converts there. We were, uh, it was very, always very faith inspiring and very, uh, they were always very supportive and, and helpful. Um, and that helped us sort of navigate uh, through it and overcome whatever um, initial difficulties that we were experiencing or adjusting to that uh, sort of way of life there. The purpose of this trip was essentially to go there and help uh, provide service to the Jamaat there in terms of Tabli and Tarbiyat. Uh, you don't have a really solid idea of how uh, you're going to be executing that. So uh, while we were there, we uh, had a lot of experience in interacting with local people, going, uh, handing out flyers to them directly on the streets. Um, having very one-on-one -on -one personal interaction with them and inviting them to the masjid. We did a lot of community work uh, through our experience there, uh, launching a lot of community initi initiatives like uh, a youth basketball league, which Alhamdulillah has developed and evolved immensely since uh, then. Uh, we also served uh, the homeless people and the hungry within the city. We did a lot of uh, projects and uh, presentations uh, at universities. We had a very positive and profound impact on the people there uh, that we were trying to reach out to. Um, and Alhamdulillah, we were received with a very positive response and um, with a lot of acceptance as well. Uh, throughout the experience, we uh, overall were able to accumulate 30 bats within that experience of 10, 10 days. And we were very grateful that we were part of that experience. Because Islam says that the purpose of our creation is worship, right? You know, everything around us has a purpose. The clothes we wear, everything, right? So our purpose is, 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 is to worship God, and God will ask us as this being the number one question after one of them. I would definitely recommend uh, that 
Al Khudam try to take advantage of this such experiences uh, to go uh, into a different country, especially a, a country with less privileges um, and the blessings that were afforded here uh, in first world uh, countries. I think having the interaction with people had a very uh, significant impact on me in terms of understanding how the bleed can be conducted and the response it can have uh, within a community. I think it's just a very humbling experience, a very fulfilling experience to go through that, um, to uh, overcome the challenges that you experience there, to really firsthand see how a Jamaat, the foundation of a Jamaat being laid uh, within such countries. And be seeing the growth of it, I think is very, um, it's, it's a very priceless experience to be a part of.